This is not how I imagined my first day. What's up guys and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about a few things but one of the main topics that I do want to discuss is the outfits that were revealed lately for Claire and Leon. Now these look like the classical costumes from the original Resident Evil 2 but of course anyone who has played the original Resident Evil 2 will know that many modifications and alterations were actually made to the model designs here and for those of you who do not know, there is actually an interesting thing because it looks like their original concept for Claire's outfit for Resident Evil 2's remake was what made it in to Resident Evil 2 as the classic costume when in reality they're just variations of them. So let's get into this with further details. Now again, looking at Claire Redfield's costume, you can clearly see it does not look like Claire from Resident Evil 2, although it does resemble her quite closely. Now Leon's costume is extremely, extremely close to the original design. As you can see, for example, he has the very very bulky shoulder plates that almost looks like there's 5 inches of reinforced tungsten in them. However, they've gone and streamlined his costume to make it look more authentic and realistic and this fits in with all of the comments and public statements that Capcom were making about how they want the costumes to feel more in line with a modern theme and less cheesy and unrealistic. However, if any of you remember this documentation right here, it was a technical piece of paper revealed by Capcom themselves which is very official I mean, you can't really get more official than the company, of course, unless you're on the Avid Expert channel because we're more official than Capcom, screw them, banana chickens. But anyway, it looks like they've recycled an older version of the costume they were going to design and then rebranded it as a classic costume, even though that is clearly not true. However, Leon's does look more authentic to the original and does not really look like an iteration or change of the original character design in the remake and all of this sounds very convoluted because you know you're saying RE2, RE2 remake, classic costumes, non-classic costumes, alterations of a classic costumes, alteration of a character development's costume, but just to TLDR it, it looks like Claire's classic costume is just an early version of the costume they were originally going to give her in the Remake 2 project. Not an actual version of the original classic costume, which as you can see here in this photo, does actually get a reference in the little character development panel for Claire Redfield. Now the interesting thing here is Claire Redfield's age is actually very young at the time of scanning and as you can clearly see it's a sexualization of the character. Now normally I don't really care about sexualizations of characters, it does sell and it makes sense, but considering the young age of Claire that I believe was either 15 or 16 at the time of photo scanning, that's just a little bit off and I know people are going to go, well it's Japan so what do you expect? But I mean, I think it's an interesting dialogue to engage anyway, and whether this is an acceptable practice or not, because obviously they did go for that with lacking the entire black vest, etc., and the shorts. But Leon has a much more authentic design to his original costume, because nobody really wants to see Leon sexualized en masse. I'm not saying people don't want Leon sexualized, I'm sure there are plenty out there, I'm just saying there's a lot more people and we all know this in the industry that appreciate female sexualization more so than male. There are two more questions that have been answered however that everyone seems to be not focusing on because of the sexualization and also the fact that these costumes are alternative different versions of the originals rather than the actual originals and A is the fact that they are seeming to be in-game unlockables for free so I'm assuming that after completing the game once and say normal difficulty he'll have access to these as a little nod back remember Tomb Raider and that'll give you a good idea of how that should work although Tomb Raider allows you to access them much earlier on but then also there's been one of the biggest questions asked and that is are costumes going to show up in pre-rendered cutscenes. Now strangely enough, even though everyone was asking this, 
As soon as we got an actual trailer dropping the classical costumes, everybody seemed to forget. However, Avid Expert and Jeff collaborated for once in their lifetime and did find something productive together. And as the fact you can see here, we have a cutscene which does show both classical costumes in real time. This also does seem to also substantiate the theory I had that when you do choose different weapon loadouts, they will also show up in the cutscenes as well. But one has to wonder, for example, what would happen when you're supposed to point a pistol at, say, the chief, but all you have equipped is a grenade launcher. I would assume they'll probably go through the same usual game route that other developers do, and just give you the default pistol, just to ensure the cutscene doesn't look odd. Because, for example, trying to hold somebody up at gunpoint at close range with a high explosive grenade launcher that would blow yourself up as well, wouldn't exactly be an optimal choice. But then that also leads us into the question of what about if you have a rifle, an SMG, a bow, a shotgun, or whatever you want to call it. Are you still going to pull out the pistol, even if you don't have access to it? And I think the answer to that question is, more than likely you will always have your default or some sort of sidearm accessed and available to you for the cutscenes, even though it is proven that the costumes themselves will definitely be in real-time cutscenes. I do have to give some respect though, even though sexualization of a young person and also alterations of previous character designs being passed off as classic costume designs is kind of shady, but I still got to give respect to where it is due because actually rendering this all in real time is an absolutely amazing feat. Real-time rendering, of course, is going to become more and more common, but I still appreciate seeing this. It's a little bit disorientating, and I'm sure you guys have played many games where you, say, have an alternate costume on or a specific loadout, and then you go into the cutscene and you pretty much 180 into looking like somebody completely different. You turn from Sebastian Castellanos in the Resident Evil 2 remake and turn back into Leon wearing an RPD outfit, for example. Now. In Resident Evil 2's remake, this isn't going to be the case. You'd just be able to roleplay Sebastian Castellanos, even in the cutscenes, basically giving you the only version of the Evil Within 3 we'll probably ever receive. And FYI, that's another topic I am going to be discussing soon, which is Tango Gameworks and Bethesda's silence after the Evil Within 2 because of the major updates that recently happened, which is a little bit surprising and shows Tango Gameworks is still in production, so I'm wondering exactly what else their entire staff is being paid for and what exactly are they paying for in their building. Of course, it's not just for kecks and memes, they're not wasting large amounts of money for that, so it does leave one to wonder what is their future plans. Now, many people are also wondering if Ada's classical costume or some sort of variation of it is going to be revealed due to the fact that Leon and Claire Redfield both have one. I think it is a likelihood that Ada will take the coat off in the game, but of course, just like Claire Redfield and Leon, as you saw, some creative differences will be made. How heavy and how implicative these creative differences will be will be left to your judgment, but I will say, even the modified fully normal versions of Leon and Claire's outfits that we're going to be playing as, not the classic ones, just the normal ones, do kind of resemble the originals. However, Ada's is so different it's beyond recognition and looks like a completely new character altogether. Which does leave one wondering if she does take her dress off, I do believe the same thing will happen underneath and it will be barely recognisable as Ada Wong's style or articulate fashion aesthetic choices. Now the thing is, as well, there's plenty of other changes in the game, and I want to talk about a lot of different subjects. For example, what about if they change the ending of Resident Evil 2? They are going to re-establish the canon, and they've been very open about this. For example, with the fact that there's no AB scenario to fix the chronology up, so who knows what else that might change. And of course, some of the directors said that they're being very faithful and no changes are being made to the game, whereas other individuals have kind of contradicted that in PR statements, so we don't really know who to believe. Anyway, whether you like or dislike these costumes, and remember, do let me know in the comments below what you think. Just keep it constructive, don't be like, oh I hate them, Capcom should go KYS because 
they didn't do it exactly how I like. Just be like, this is what I don't like, this is what I do like, etc. And I do want to hear your feedback on this. But again, I just want to give credit due to the fact they have real-time cutscenes. And as a little added bonus here, have some beautiful new screenshots released by Resident Evil that just give you an impression of how gory and how beautifully aesthetically immersive the game is going to be. But on top of that, I will be analysing these screenshots in separate videos. I do apologise about all of the lack of content lately. If you do watch my previous video, you'll understand why. It's to do with my ISP being ddos But I just hope you've enjoyed the video as always, guys. If you did, please do leave a like, a share, or a subscribe, or you can just donate a rocket ship to me. You know, Elon Musk, if you're watching, I would appreciate one of your SpaceX rockets. Just saying, just send me one over. And I do expect some free international shipping on that rocket ship, by the way, Elon. Just saying, you know, I agree with you. Fortnite isn't the best game, so you should probably send me like a trillion dollar piece of technology. And also, if you want to come join the Discord, or follow my Twitter, or all of that beautiful spicy jazz, all of the links will be in the description, so you can go check all of those out. The music will also be in the description as well for anyone who enjoys this really beautiful background ambient and relaxing chilled music. I just hope you're having a beautiful day as always. Take it easy and peace.